What's up? This stream's gonna be fun. Because this is gonna be the first stream since I got banned from Twitch. I don't think I've ever not streamed on Twitch, honestly, now that I think about it. I've always either streamed on just Twitch or Twitch and somewhere else. What are we gonna do? Probably the same fucking thing we always do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. That was a lot of snot. This this whole band is pretty it's pretty hilarious to me because I legitimately have no idea what happened. Let's go pick this apart real quick. Twitch is committed to keeping our community safe for everyone, and as a part of that, we require all users to ensure that anything shared on their account of by Twitch's service, terms of service and community guidelines. Uh. Yet we still allow soft corp and gambling, but we're committed to keeping our community safe for everybody. Except the young teenage kids that are on Twitch watching gambling streams. Except the 13 and 14 year olds that use Twitch and come across Amaranth stream. Nah, nah, we don't want to keep them safe. But you, with your fucking less than half a dozen viewers, nah, man. We've had enough of your shit. Based on a review of your activity or content, we have issued a community guideline strike on your account. Ooh. Due to the severe nature of this violation. <laughs> <laughs> severe nature of this violation. Oh, there was there was an or. You've incurred multiple violations. Your access to Twitch services is indefinitely restricted. So I either occurred multiple violations previously which I haven't. First off, let's get that out there. I have occurred zero previous bans, zero previous suspensions for no any reason, nothing, none. So we're ruling that as the reason why I'm getting a strike. That's not the reason why, okay? Based on a review of your activity or content, we have issued a bullet strike on your account, okay? So I don't have a strike for multiple violations because this is my first violation. So that's not what it is. So this only leaves this option, which is do this to the severe nature of your violation. Guys, I don't even know what the fuck my violation is. Maybe it was that stream I did where I sat in an inflatable hot tub, half naked in a skimpy, skimpy ass bikini, shaking my ass for five subs. Every five subs gets a booty shake, riding an inflatable pickle, right? Pushing my titties together, hoping that you follow my account. 10 subs equals booty clap. Five subs equals 10 push-ups. Maybe one of those streams is the reason why. Damn, I guess that makes sense. But that's the thing. Because it doesn't. Because I don't fucking do that. But everybody else does. And they get away with it. Amaran got banned multiple times by Twitch because she consistently does things that does not abide by Twitch's terms of service. Just like her and multiple other streamers on the platform, right? that are doing that are getting away with this borderline softcore prawn activity if you go and read twitch's terms of service it clearly states that they cannot be doing the things on twitch's site that they are doing but the problem is twitch doesn't do anything about it they turn they turn a cheek to it they they look the other way they ride the fence because twitch is afraid to make any harsh concrete permanent decisions because they're afraid of upsetting the community. Right? So they ride the fence and they blatantly ignore their own terms of service by letting these streamers that are doing th this softcore prawn stuff, the hot tub streams, pulling their titties and their ass out on stream, uh, booty shake for five every five subs gives five seconds of booty claps, right? But Twitch doesn't want to do anything about it, right? Which, which is... A funny thing in and of itself is, is just hilarious, right? What's even more hilarious is they're fucking with me. I am nowhere near as popular as any of them. My account ain't shit. My account is not successful. <laughs> Yet you want to ban me? For what? Reason. Botted or automated account. I have never view botted, guys. You can go back to any one of my streams and you can look at the number of views on it. 
And it'll clearly tell you right there that I've never bought in my shit. Because if I had been botting my stuff, I would have way more average viewers and I would have way more views on things. But I don't. Posting large amount of unsolicited advertisements? I never use Twitch, dude. Malicious links? Again, I never use Twitch. I never get on this site. Or general spam with a botted or automated account. What are you talking about, dude? Where the violation occurred in public or private chat messages. Content related to this violation may be removed. In public or private chat messages. So it somewhere in someone's public chat, meaning they're streaming and I'm commenting in their chat so everybody else can see it, or private messages, meaning I'm sending them, I'm DMing them on Twitch. Somewhere that's where the violation occurred, right? Well, this is also hilarious because I don't fucking get on Twitch. If I am on Twitch, I'm watching somebody play poker. That's it. I don't chat in people's streams. I don't do that. And if I do, I'm not there long. The only reason why this makes sense is if I got hacked and I didn't know it. But the problem with that is... Every time I log into my account, I get an email. New login from this device, blah, 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 whatever, right? That really doesn't make much sense to me. Because if somebody would have logged into my shit, I would have gotten a notification about it. Maybe it was a situation where I, I left my account logged in and something happened. I don't know. All right, so suspension links indefinite. Your suspension will not be automatically lifted. Access to our services may only be restored upon successful appeal. Due to your suspension of 30 days or longer, any subscriptions you have may not renew. Ooh. So what about your length? It may not be 12 inches, but it sure smells like a foot. <laughs> Just come on over to Facebook. It's super sexy. I'm already on Facebook. I'm streaming on Facebook right now. That's where you're at. Because, see, that's the thing. I'm always going to multi-stream. Because doing multi-streaming is better than just streaming to one individual platform. It doesn't matter if you just stream on Twitch. Only, uh... YouTube or only Facebook. The best way to stream is multi-platform, period. That's why I was doing all three. Now, what I originally thought when I first got this email about be me being banned was, okay, I'm a Twitch affiliate, and per the Twitch affiliate contract, which you can just buy affiliate status now, so that tells you how fucking uh, uh, pitiful having Twitch affiliate actually is. You can go to a website and just purchase it. You can literally make a Twitch account and then five minutes later, go and buy affiliate status. And on top of that, getting affiliate, the minimum requirements are so fucking low that you can leave a computer on, go to work, come back, and you would have affiliate already. So that just kind of tells you how ridiculous affiliate is anyway. It's incredibly easy to get. And on top of that, you could just buy it. But when you get affiliate and you sign that contract, you're not allowed to stream anywhere else at the same time, which is the biggest downfall to having affiliate and the reason why you should not have affiliate. Oh, but... Thomas, you're a uh, Twitch affiliate. Why do you say that? Well, I've actually emailed them two separate times in the past about canceling my affiliate status. So I could just stream on Twitch without being an affiliate. I don't care about the subs, any of the other shit, whatever. Right? Because I wanted to be able to multi-stream. But the problem is they never fucking answered me. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'm just going to stream on them anyway. Screw you. And that's what I do. That's what I've been doing. For a while, I was streaming on Twitch and YouTube. And then it was Twitch, YouTube, and now Facebook, right? So my thing is, if I was getting banned because I was multi-streaming when I wasn't supposed to, it was not outlined in this email. None of these reasons, or where the violation occurred, or anything they said in this dumbass couple of paragraphs right here, none of that states that I'm getting banned because I was streaming in multiple places at once. None of it. So it's not even it's not even that it's that's the problem with it, right? It's awesome that Twitch allows people to sit and lick their microphones with their tits out and ride pool floats like you were saying earlier. Twitch is shitty. Twitch is turning into chatterbait. My free cams only have that restriction when you get partnered, which is a serious grind. Yeah, see, so being partnered on Twitch or any other site like that is different. Cuz if I can get to a point to where I'm popular enough to where I'm partnered on Twitch, meaning I have an average of 75 viewers, then, yeah, at that point, it's worth it. But even then, even if you are that popular on Twitch, even if you do have that, even if you are an affiliate, 
Is it worth it to be on a platform that allows all that garbage that I was talking about earlier? My buddy Brandon right here was just relaying again. The problem with Twitch is they have no fucking balls. Twitch, in order to survive, needs to make an executive decision, a hard-ass, cut-and-dry decision. We are either going to allow sexual content and gambling, or we are not. Period. There is no in-between. Like I was saying earlier, Amaranth got a, a five-day ban for what she was doing, right? And then they just let her back on the site! You think that girl was sweating not making income for five days? I never liked Twitch for that reason. Too many thirst traps getting rich. Okay, I'm gonna touch on that because honestly, man, I don't care how you choose to make money, right? For me, it's don't hate the player, hate the game, right? I don't hate you if you want to be a part of the sex industry to make money. The issue I have is Twitch. Maybe they can't legally regulate you to own one platform unless they have something in very rough terms more binding like an affiliate agreement. That's exactly it. Because Twitch wants you to stay on Twitch, obviously. They don't want you to stream on YouTube. They don't want you to stream on Facebook, right? They want you to stay on Twitch. They want you to stay exclusive to their site. Which is even more ridiculous when you consider the fact that Twitch has garbage discoverability. Literal ass discoverability. You will not get discovered just on Twitch. Period. Because when you go and search a game, let's say you're playing Apex Legends and you have 10 viewers, right? You go to Twitch and you search Apex Le at Legends, it orders them from the people that have the most viewers to the least. So you have to scroll through multiple pages before you even get down to your 5 to 10 viewer stream. Zero discoverability on Twitch, which makes it even more ridiculous that they want you to stay on their site. Let's play out crap for 8-year-olds on Fortnite. And see, that is another problem with the sexual content on Twitch, is kids. Eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds, 10, 12, 14-year-olds can log into Twitch to watch their favorite Fortnite stream, whatever else, Minecraft, whatever it is, and they're going to get slapped right in the face with six booby streamers. But at, almost butt-ass naked, sitting in a hot tub, soaking wet, making moaning noises on a microphone. But Twitch doesn't want to do anything about it because that shit that I just outlined, you can literally go into the Twitch Terms of Service and see that the Twitch Terms of Service says that you should not do those things. It says it in the TOS. Yet Twitch does nothing about it. They just let it slide. Because they don't want to upset the community. Eh. Which is funny to me. Because big picture problem here with this is... If Twitch doesn't do anything about this, they're going to mixer themselves. Meaning, Twitch is just going to fucking die. The reason why is because... Big companies... Not, not just any old companies, big companies, like Fortune 500 companies, not only don't want to advertise on Twitch for that reason, they're pulling their ads from Twitch. Because Twitch does not have a dynamic ad system like YouTube does. If I watch a video on... Well, what was the video I was watching earlier today? Um, five, benef or five things to not do in your turbocharged vehicle, right? from this YouTube channel called Engineering Explained, right? That's what I was watching. I'm going to get a video about turbocharged cars, right? Twitch doesn't have that. Twitch doesn't know how to make ads specifically for you and what you're watching and what you're viewing. So, if you own a coffee company and you decide to take an ad out on Twitch, guess where it could end up? On a softcore prawn stream, your coffee ad for your company could end up on some girl's stream who's bouncing her titties for subs. So what's happening is, those companies are pulling out. Twitch is losing millions of dollars every year in ad revenue because those companies, these big-ass Fortune 500 companies, don't want to be associated with that. And they also don't want to be associated with the gambling because gambling streams are also a big issue on Twitch. They're just pulling out. Twitch is literally bleeding millions of dollars year after year after year. Well, maybe not that long. Month after month, year after year, whatever. You get what I'm saying. Um, because of their inability to act.
they're too afraid to upset the community, so, well, we'll just give you a little bit of a ban. You, you get a, you get a small ban. Just, just a small one. And then when you come back, you can dump your titties out again. That's fine, Twitch. Keep doing it. Nobody's gonna put ads on your fucking site, and y'all motherfuckers are gonna go broke because you don't want to do shit. You're fucking wimps. You're wussies.